Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. If you're interested in, in learning a little bit more about the work that I do, please hit the subscribe button. Today I have, I want to show you through the laboratory. And here is my old laboratory at, at the university and I want to show you uh, the laboratory and give you an overview of the type of work that I do here. So let's take a look. This is a uh, this is a, a tissue culture laboratory and this is the media prep area shown right here. So we have the standard equipment, the, uh, the pH meter, the balances right here. This is a still over here so I use this to generate really high quality water. So let's let's take a look and I'll show you some of the things a little closer. All right, so this is these are the balances here. <laughs> you can see I even have some uh, some sugar, some store bought sugar. I was comparing store bought sugar in the that's the uh, the pioneer container there. Store bought sugar compared to uh, laboratory grade sugar. But these are all of the chemicals that I have in the laboratory that are stored at room temperature. Uh, there's additional chemicals in the refrigerator and in the freezer and actually at room temperature in a desiccator to keep dry. Uh, I can show you this also. This is uh, beech nut baby food. And this is, I add this to one of my orchid medium, media. And what I'm going to do is try to just try to figure out what are the components of the baby food contribute to really nice root growth in that orchid replay medium. And, and I'll have a video that I'll discuss that uh, coming up. This is the, uh, the still in the laboratory. So this is a, a still that takes a very high quality building reverse osmosis water, puts it through this four cartridge uh, purification system, and then through a glass still shown right here. And I can show you this is an old quality, old still here. So the water is, is boiled. Uh, there's it's condensed on the coils that are up there, and then what we get in this container, drop by drop, is very high quality water for media prep. Uh, over here, dishwashing area, a critical component of every laboratory. Uh, over here are my two autoclaves, and these are really workhorses. These are bench top autoclaves. Uh, in, the, in the home, you can use pressure cookers to do the same type of um, uh, thing that you're going to do with that I do in the laboratory with autoclaves. Over here is a hood, and this is a hood that is a uh, negative flow. It pulls the air out. This is when working with certain chemicals that uh, that you want to avoid the vapors. This is my orchid um, potting area right here. My orchiata bark. Some of my uh, some of my containers are right here. Uh, this is some of the other part of the laboratory. This is a, uh, there's a big uh, tabletop centrifuge, a microfuge, just the various equipment that I use uh, in the laboratory as well. And then again, <laughs> lab coats right here and another bench space area right here. So this is the wet lab portion of the laboratory. Let me, let, we'll go into the culture room right here. And this is the culture room and these are uh, this has independently controlled air conditioning and heating from the rest of the building. And this is uh, one of the shelves uh, in the laboratory that has, uh, that has very controlled light and very controlled heat and, uh, and, and temperature and humidity. In here. Uh, these are some of the orchid uh, seedlings or seeds that I plated. And really there's not much to see in here. These are just seeds that have been plated. Uh, you might be able to see some small green spots, and those are some of the seeds that are just starting uh, to swell. These are some of the orchid seedlings that I have uh, in here. This is a um, this is a Lelia uh, pumila. These are some old plants that I have. Again, just seedlings, and I've got some in the petri dishes and in these larger flasks right here. Some of the uh, some of the seedlings are in these uh, larger flasks. Uh, in larger jars. Here are some of the crosses that I made and some of the seedlings uh, or seeds that colleagues have, have given me. I should show you here, this is just a standard Chinese food container. Got one here and I've got another one right here. And if I have a lot of seed, I can plate the, uh, the seeds in this container and I 
you have to be very careful because it's such a big container with uh, with contamination. But you get very you can put a lot of seeds in there. Over here is our, our some of the other uh, orchids. These are actually dendrobiums, and this is a uh, this is a plate of seedlings. You can you can see how many are there, but they're germinated on this medium, and then once the seeds uh, seedlings are large enough, they're transferred to a second medium to give a little bit more growth, and sometimes they can be placed directly in uh, larger containers. Uh, like this. And this is also a dendrobium. This is one of the dendrobium crosses that I have. Again, the big containers. I've got a lot of these other flasks here. Uh, this is another dendrobium cross uh, that I was made. This, it's interesting, this generated very few viable seed, but the few seed that I have are growing nicely uh, into, these, uh, into these plants, in these petri dishes, and also in these larger containers shown right here. So this is again another dendrobium. Over here is a project that I just initiated. These are uh, vanilla orchids that are growing on a, uh, a orchid proliferation medium. And what we're trying to do for this is uh, generate orchids, but also perform some manipulation of the orchids. So that's what these are right here. I've got a number of the vanilla orchids on all these different media. And if you can see right here, it doesn't like growing in this medium, but you try these things and uh, you evaluate different media. And this, it doesn't do well. This medium, you get shoot elongation shown right here. In this medium, it seems that you get more of a proliferation or multiplication of these shoots. And in some cases, what you want, and this is what we're going for for part of the project, is just a mass of cell divisions as shown right here. So depending on the medium components, uh, the tissue will respond in various ways, and I can go over that a little bit later. Uh, the last thing that I want to show you on these laboratory, my laboratory, are the laminar flow hoods. And this is uh, one of my hoods right here. This is, uh, this hood, the air goes in the top, and it comes out through these HEPA filters that are in front of you, and the air blows out at you in sheets. It's a, called a laminar airflow hood because the the air flows out in sheets, and you can work in the hood uh, under very, uh, very nice aseptic conditions and do manipulations of plant tissue here. This is the scope, so in, in a lot of my hoods, I have uh, microscopes that I can, where you can take a look at the contents of the petri dishes and then transfer those contents from one dish to a, to a flask or to another dish or whatever, whatever uh, container you have. Um, and I'll, again, I'll conduct some videos uh, showing how seeds are placed and how tissue is transferred using these laminar airflow hoods uh, like this one that I have in, in my laboratory. But lots of scopes um, in, these, in these hoods, and it's a really nice uh, setup that I have in my laboratory. So that's it for the laboratory. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is go out to the greenhouse and show you the research greenhouses that I have some of these orchid plants growing in. And this is the greenhouse. This is where I have uh, the plants that I produce in the laboratory. This is where I transfer them to. And so most of the bench, most of the bench space here is filled with the various type of orchids uh, that I have. It's a pretty nice greenhouse facility. You can tell it's got supplemental lighting. Uh, right here, we have cooling pads behind me that aren't right, aren't on right now because it's not very uh, not very hot outside. Um, but the lights are on because the uh, the sun is not sh shining right now, and uh, the orchids really do like it here. One of the other things with the orchids is that I do have this uh, this uh, misting system, so the mist turns on once a day and the orchids are pretty happy. These are only seedlings. We'll take a closer look at them so you can see uh, how they're growing. But they do, they do really well here in the, uh, in the greenhouses. And this is a research greenhouse uh, facility. So uh, some of the other, you can see some of the other rooms uh, down there. 
Um, there's, there's soybeans there. On the other way back there, there's, there's apples growing there, but there's a variety of different plants that are growing in these greenhouses. So let's take a, a quick look at the orchids close up so you can see how they're growing. Most of what I have in here are uh, encyclias, and these are uh, pretty, pretty, uh, they're seedlings still, but the seedlings are doing uh, quite well. And some of the, some of the uh, bases of, the, of these plants, you can see the, uh, the enlarged base of some of these uh, plants and how, how, how big they are and how well they're growing. But most of these are the encyclias that I'm going to be mounting in the uh, in the trees in the park, and I had a video on that that I showed you previously. But all these will be taken taken to the uh, uh, to the park and mounted in the trees. This is a uh, seedlings from uh, one of my first crosses right here, and some of them are doing really pretty well. Um, so they're right now growing in bark in two inch pots and they seem to seem to do well here. Uh, there's a little bit of fertilizer in there, but they're doing pretty well on their own. Here's another Cattleya. Uh, this is actually Lelia uh, Puma, and, and the fans just went on, so it's gonna get a little loud. But so you can see what the Lelia looks like. Some of these seedlings are growing pretty well. The roots look healthy, they're growing outside of the pots. Things are good there. These are some, and the fan's getting really loud here because we're right close to it. These are some of the dendrobiums here and of course right here. And again, these are seedlings. These are pretty small, but they're, 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 they're going to get bigger and they're going to do well. So that's all I have for today. You can see the fan running behind me and that's why it's loud. But that's all I have for today. Just wanted to give you a tour of the laboratory and the greenhouse at my university facility. So that's it. Happy propagating.